Agentic AI is very hot right now. And in this video, I'm going to share a practical step-by-step -step roadmap to learn Agentic AI along with free learning resources. The first step in this roadmap is to gain understanding of AI basics. There are so many confusing terms like statistical ML, deep learning, ML versus AI, NLP. You need to know what all these different terms means. And for this, we have an excellent one hour tutorial on YouTube where I have clarified all these concepts in a very simple language that even a high school student can understand it easily along with some visualization. For example, to explain neural networks, I have used this uh, specific visualization. So once you watch this one hour video, your fundamentals on the AI family tree, like where everything stands, you know, like ML is part of AI and then statistical ML and deep learning is part of ML and so on. You will have a very good understanding of a bigger picture. Once that is done, you have to learn Python programming. You are going to use Python as a programming language for your agentic AI application. And therefore, you need to have a basic understanding of this programming language. You will find many amazing tutorials on YouTube. Our channel also have this uh, tutorial playlist where we are not only teaching concepts, but we have done a lot of hands-on coding. There are a lot of exercises. So if you go to video description, you will find a link to GitHub where we have given all these exercises. So once you learn through these tutorials, do some exercises, you will have a good understanding of Python. Python is the easiest programming language. Even a high school student can learn this in like few days, okay? Once you have learned Python, now to move into Gen AI, your prerequisite step will be NLP foundation. Natural language processing is a science where you process natural language. The way humans, you know how humans process the natural language, you uh, train computers to process it in that fashion. And for that, you need to have understanding on regular expression, various text pre-processing techniques such as tokenization, stemming, and so on. Then text representation such as count, vectorizer, etc. When you're using chat GPT, you are typing all the text, but internally it gets converted into something called embeddings. So these are the founding principles on which ChatGPT and LLM work. Therefore, you need to have the strong foundation. And luckily we have another free YouTube tutorial playlist on this. So just go through the entire playlist. It is okay if you skip this uh, fast text part and some of the NLTK and spacey library part, it is okay, right? But make sure you are learning all these essential concepts, okay? After you have gained understanding on NLP, the next step will be Gen AI, okay? For generative AI, you need to know how LLM works. What are vector databases like ChromaDB, PineCon, and so on? What is retrieval augmented generation? And Langchain is the most popular frameworks that people use to build Gen AI application. Now for this, we have this three hour uh, course actually, you can see 725K view. And this course goes over all the concepts in sequence, starting from Gen AI evolution to what is LLM. So we have used nice parrot analogy here to explain the LLM. Then what are embeddings? vector databases, retrieval augmented generation. And then here at this stage, we start with practical Langchain fundamentals. So we have done a lot of coding and then we have uh, built a project also. So there are two projects here. I would say even if you do one project is good enough. Okay, so that will be two hour course for you. And once you have completed this course, you will have a good understanding of all these concepts along with hands-on practical experience. Then comes some extra Gen AI projects for which we have another playlist where we have built these three projects and I might add more projects in the future so you can save this playlist link. And all these projects are useful in terms of building real life applications using different models such as Llama, which is open source model from Meta. And this particular project, Gen AI project, the third one is actually based on the real a client project that we did in my company, Atlic Technologies, where we used a hybrid approach. Usually in the industry, when you're working on any Gen AI projects, you will not just use LLM and be done with it. Here you have used a regular expression, 
to classify some of the log text. Then for remaining text, we have used BERT classification along with statistical ML. And then we have used NLP and some LLM as well. Okay, so, so like a truly kind of very industry relevant real project. And when you have done these projects, now you have gained solid practical hands-on experience on building Gen AI projects. Now, these projects are not agentic in nature, okay? They use LLM as one of the components. So if you go by Anthropic's guide, these are workflow application. So then what about agents? Well, that is your next step, okay? So I should just say step number five. Here, you want to develop understanding on what is agentic AI, what is the difference between these three terms, okay? Uh, so I have, I have various videos actually, various very short videos, very intuitive effect explanations, okay? Agent TKI is explained in this particular video, okay? Along with no code tools such as N8N and then uh, what is MCP? So now when you have clarified all this concept, your step number six will be hands-on Agent TKI. So there are many frameworks out there, right? So the frameworks which are out there are Agno, then there is Langgraph, there is Crew AI. I'm building a Crew AI tutorial, by the way. Uh, the video should be out soon. Then there is a Google ADK, right? There is Open AI ADK. You don't need to learn all of these. I would suggest you learn Agno, Langgraph, and Crew AI, and that's good enough. For Agno, we have a course. You can see the views and just read the comments. Very practical, hands-on, intuitive tutorial that even a beginner can start and learn it, okay? Then comes Langgraph. So Langgraph is used to build reliable agents using stateful graphs, okay? So this is one and half hour video which covers graphs, simple graphs, graphs with conditions, chatbot with tools, you know, chatbot with memory, human in the loop. We also cover Langsmith, which is used for monitoring, tracing, etc. Okay, so all of that is covered in this one and a half hour video. So at this stage, uh, you would also like to build your own MCP server. Model Context Protocol is used to build Agentic AI applications. And for that, we have another video where we build an MCP server for some real life use case okay now these are all free learning resources but let's say if you want to learn using ad free experience a uh, lot of practical and enhanced content then we have this gen ai bootcamp as well where we have covered all these uh, modules in depth along with the soft skills and let me show you the agent ai project that we have here so in this particular project what we have done is for my company at Lick Technologies, we have built this uh, Agentic AI HR Assist tool where Claude Desktop is used for MCP client and for MCP server, we have built using Python. So what it will do is it will do the onboarding of a new employee. So when you say, hey, onboard this new employee, this person is reporting to the XYZ, it will do all the steps, add the employee to HRMS, send welcome email, notify manage. It will do all of that using the agentic AI principles. Now, this is it folks. So this is the end of the roadmap. As a bonus section, I have included ML and DL foundation. So let's say if you want to learn agentic AI fast in a fast track, quick way, then it is okay if you skip ML and DL foundation. But if you want to build enhanced understanding of agentic AI, then you need to have some foundation of machine learning and deep learning. So in machine learning, you need to know, you know, what is statistical machine learning, gradient descent, linear logistic regression, some of the classification techniques like decision tree, random forest, unsupervised learning, uh, at least one like dbscan or k-means. And then how do you do model fine tuning and evolution? Similarly, deep learning is a foundation of uh, LLMs and things like that, okay? So if you are building an application, if you are working at a very higher level where you are just using a bunch of frameworks like Agno, Langgraph and building the applications, then it's okay if you don't know the details of neural network. But let's say if you're doing customization and working at a lower level, then you need to know PyTorch and some of the deep learning principles which I have highlighted here. And I have also mentioned some of the 
free learning resources for both of this. So check it out. As a next step, you need to work on more projects. You also want to work on building online credibility through LinkedIn, Kaggle, Discord, etc. And the tips for effective learning is spend less time in watching tutorials and more time in digesting, implementing and sharing it. And on Code Basics Discord server, if you click on it, here we have a partner and group finder chat. So just try to study this roadmap in a group. You can post that, okay, I have started studying using this Agent AI roadmap. Uh, do you want to be uh, my partner? And that, that way you are kind of like going to a gym uh, together, going to play pickle wall together. You know, like company will always motivate you and help you with the inspiration. I hope you like this roadmap. Check video description for the PDF link. If you have any questions, please post in the comment box below. I will try my best to answer as many questions as possible. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.